Hello everyone, welcome back to Almost There. So let's dive into the kitchen and make this donut with some story. So the 200 ml of milk, I'll be adding a little salt. I'll add one tablespoon of uh, yeast. I'll add one egg. I'll add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'll go ahead and add 100 grams of uh, sugar. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. So I'll go ahead and mix all the things that I have mixed in the 200 ml of uh, milk. After that, I'm going to pour it into two and a half cup of purple flour. Use your stapler if you wish, but I decided to use my hand. I'll go ahead and combine them until everything is well mixed together. It's not an easy job. If you have been baking, you will know what I mean. So now I'll be using about uh, 200 grams of uh, unmelted butter. I will use it and be incorporating it in the dough. I will make sure that everything combines very well. Continue stretching it very well for at least five to seven minutes. And this is the result of what you are going to get. But this should have been stretched more. This is one reason why the donut did not come out in a normal donut shape. All right. To the bowl that I used to mix it, I'm going to rub butter on it and go ahead and uh, drop the dough. Cover it, allow it to rest to 30 to 45 minutes. It's okay. And after that, I'll go ahead and prep the parchment pepper that I'll be using to put the donut for frying it so you just have to take your parchment pepper and follow this step it is very easy and you will not waste lots of pepper use your scissors to cut both sides and then you have your pepper for the donut ready now after 40 minutes now i'm going to open this and you see it is fine and i'll give it a punch everything was looking very nice the second problem that i had that this donut did not come out as a normal donut uh the shape of it did not come out well is because i did not roll it well when i mean i did not roll it well you will see what i mean i will explain to you after cutting it out first of all make sure that you have an exact measurement yes if you're going to use your palm to measure it do that but look at it it is not looking that well folded you see that is where the problem came i was even folding it like this and that is where it's going to blue top when you put it in the oil so make sure that you are going to fold and fold and fold take your time until you get it in a very well shaped form and it doesn't have some opening on top or some misfolding under that is the only way your donut is going to come out well Nonetheless, we are going to fry it and we must definitely eat it. <laughs> All right, we learn every day in the kitchen. So if this happens to you, don't worry. The next the next time you probably do it uh, better. All right, I'm just going to keep them in the parchment paper and now cover it with a kitchen napkin. Allow it to rest for at least another 40 minutes. And after that, I'll go ahead and add oil to the pan. I will be frying them. At this point, I was discouraged because I know that the shape of that uh, donut rather is not going to come out well. Nonetheless, we continue. I'll be using chocolate. I'm using this brand of chocolate to infuse the uh, donut because the kids like it. I'll just drop it inside hot water and it will be melting there while I'm frying. Another thing you should be very careful. If you are touching it, you are giving it uh, more ways not to become like that perfect donut shape. You can see it in the pot. As I said earlier, I was discouraged and I said, today is today. I must fry it. No matter how you come out, we'll go shop them. <laughs> yes so you see all the donuts i have in the oil they have some you know what should i call it <laughs> it came out yummy but the shape is not that shape of a donut so the second time i decided to be throwing them with the pepper which is the normal way that i used to do my donut to hmm, as i said before cooking it's not the same every day. Sometimes it come out well, sometimes no. So everything is now ready. The next thing to do is to, you know, prepare the chocolate. I've already uh, melted them. I'm going to put it in a container. This container, I want to cover the mouth because if not, the chocolate will just be throwing out if you're pouring it. I've covered it with foil. I'll go ahead and scoop them inside the uh, container and then give a mark in the 
suppose donut <laughs> and infuse the chocolate in it or uh, in them after that uh, you spray your sugar on them and you enjoy it truly it gave the test the yumminess it was giving we all enjoyed it even the kids they don't even care all they know is that they want to eat if you like it should have the shape of donut or not and this is the result we all enjoyed it so if you want it to have more chocolate keep on infusing it until the chocolate uh, fills inside the whole donut but i didn't want to add it as much uh, like that because i was now discouraged at this point that is how we made our fell donut thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye Thank you.